Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will synchronize and edit all recorded timecode motions in iClone, as well as embed or overwrite timecode information into motion clips from different sources. This workflow greatly enhances the flexibility of using timecoded data across various stages of production. First, we need to set up the iClone project environment for timecode integration. Navigate to Edit, Project Settings, then go to the Time Unit section. Set the FPS to align with the motion capture shoot. In this case, it's 24 frames per second. If needed, extend the end frame to accommodate the full motion sequence. Most importantly, change the time unit to time code to ensure accurate synchronization. Now, the project is ready for time code data import. To apply motions to our 3D characters, we can import FBX files or any RL motion file types that supports timecode. For this shoot, we are using iMotion Plus files. To verify if a motion file contains timecode data, right-click on the motion and select Content Info to check for embedded timecode information. For a clearer understanding of the alignment process in the next section, apply the timecoded motion to only one character for now. By hovering the cursor over the clip, we can confirm that the clip contains timecode information. However, it is not currently aligned to the correct timecode position, so the starting frame in the timeline is still at zero. Now, we can just right-click on the clip and select Align Clip and First Frame to Embedded Timecode. This means that iClone will check the timecode for the selected clip and align the first frame of the timeline to the start of the clip. As a result, we can see the timeline has changed to the correct time, and the clip is now aligned with the start frame. Provided that there are multiple unsynchronized clips on the timeline, we can right-click on any clip and select Align Clip and First Frame to Embedded Time Code, just like in the previous example. If a warning appears, we can save the information as a CSV file to identify the cause of the issue. In this case, there is only one warning for out-of-bound clips, which indicates that the yellow character's motion clip, including Vise Me, Expression, and Motion Track, is placed outside the current timeline range. This is because we chose to align the green clip, which is behind the yellow one. This brings up an important point. Any clip ahead of the aligned clip will not be adjusted and will remain in place. Meanwhile, the clip with a later timecode position, belonging to the red character, can be successfully moved to the correct timecode position. Thus, we need to right-click on the clip with the earliest timecode data to make all subsequent clips align successfully. With the timecode synchronized for all clips, if we move any clip within the time range, we simply need to right-click on it and select Align Clip to Embedded Timecode. This will instantly snap it back to the correct position. If we add a new timecode clip to the character, we can right-click on that clip and align it in the same way. After performing synchronization, we can see that the fight sequence is choreographed perfectly. Sometimes we may need to work with motion clips recorded in different time frames or even clips without any timecode information. To address this, we can use the Save and Update feature in the Timecode plugin to embed custom timecode data into these clips. In this case, we add a motion clip with a time code that is several hours apart from our current timeline. The time code for this clip is set at 13 hours, whereas our timeline is currently at 19 hours. Next, we apply a random motion from the motion pack to Camilla. This motion clip does not contain any time code data. When attempting to align and synchronize the clips in the timeline, the same warning message appears as before. By saving the CSV file and reviewing the details, we identify two different warnings. The first is the out-of-bound warning, indicating that Kevin's clip is positioned over an hour before the current timeline range. The second warning states that a time codeless clip has been detected, referring to Camilla's motion clip, which lacks time code data entirely. To embed time code data into a motion clip that lacks it, we first need to select a suitable motion clip for demonstration. In this case, 
will use the Run For Your Life motion pack from the Content Manager. Upon applying the motion, we notice that the character starts facing the wrong direction. To fix this, open the Motion Direction Control dialog box in the timeline. Select the clip and adjust the direction and position in the viewport. Once the initial adjustment is complete, we can also split the clip into two parts and reorient the second segment. This ensures a seamless blend between both sections. After refining the motion, we need to position it correctly in the timeline so the character reacts appropriately, such as noticing the fight before running away. Once the placement is finalized, we can collect and save the clip while embedding the appropriate timecode data. Right-click on the clip, select Collect Clip, then right-click on the collected clip again. Under Save with Timecode, we find three options. Saving timecoded motion, facial expressions independently, or both as a Motion Plus file. Once saved, the motion can be applied to a different character while maintaining the correct timing for the scene. Since we previously corrected the motion's direction, it's important to enable the Align Position Only option before applying it to a new character. With just one click, we can now align the clip to the proper timecode position. She snaps a quick one for social media, then runs back to safety a scene lifted out of reality. Similarly, if we have a motion clip recorded in a drastically different time frame, such as being six hours off from our current project, we can still integrate it seamlessly. First, disable the Align option and apply the recorded motion to Kevin. To better adjust the timing, split the clip as needed and move it to the appropriate position within the scene. Once the timing aligns properly with the ongoing action, we can follow the same process as before. Right-click on the clip, select Collect Clip, and save it with updated timecode data. After saving, reapply the motion to the character and simply right-click on the clip to align it accurately on the timeline. Finally, we have completed the scene with all characters accurately synchronized to their time-coded motions. To further expand time-code integration, we can export the motions to other 3D software packages for rendering and explore the pipeline flexibility that time-code provides. With time-codes embedded into the motion capture files, we can seamlessly exchange them between different applications, such as Autodesk Maya, Motion Builder, and Unreal Engine. For more detailed timecode pipeline examples, please check out the dedicated tutorials in the description. And that concludes this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.